Hello my soccer universe, it is time to take out the other jersey that I had from this classic football shirts package that I ordered a long time ago and a little bit you can already tell it's a red jersey. Well with me wearing PSV it's another Eredivisie team and most good Eredivisie teams at the moment are playing all in red which is a little bit a point of annoyance for me to be honest but you know so be it those are their traditional colors I cannot really fault them for that. But this jersey is special because it is also a new manufacturer and a manufacturer that has a little bit of a mythical state status to me. I didn't even know that they are uh, until re recent that they are uh, again manufacturing and I definitely didn't expect them to pop up in the Netherlands. But before we look at the jersey, I want to see what goodies, because I didn't do this with the Bologna unpacking, what goodies are in there, namely which card do I get and anything else there's only one player card however can tell you already I'm not very excited about that one Yaya Toure doesn't do anything for me all the other players that, that I have I at least have some sort of connection with them so yeah that's an outside one but let's look at the shirt um, has an interesting red and white slightly different pattern you have to make sure that when you buy a Dutch jersey when you, when you have a Dutch jersey collection you hang them here on the wall and there's a lot of red that at least there's a little bit of a difference so we have the classic Ajax we have the half half um, the half half uh, Feyenoord look we have the diagonal for Utrecht we have the striped now for PSV uh, we have plain red for Alkmaar though I found one that has a little bit different so any guesses what this team will be? It's of course FC Twente. And what I'm most excited about this one is Maber. I is my first Maber jersey. Yes, I would like to have a Maber jersey from the 90s. And I don't know how many teams Maber had in the 90s, but there's one very, very prominent in the 80s and the 90s that they had, of course. It's a, uh, I think it's a Spanish comp company. I want to even say from Catalonia because they are most famous for having uh, equipped Barcelona is uh, most during the 80s and the early 90s and most notably um, Barcelona were wearing Maybe jerseys when they were winning their first European Cup in 92 at Wembley. But FC 20 it is and I saw that 20 had Maybe jerseys I think like two or three years ago I said what Maybe is back. But back then, uh, you know, it seemed a little bit out of reach uh, for me uh, at first. And second, uh, the Twente home jersey was just plain red, which I was not too uh, excited about. Uh, they had a really cool away jersey that I almost bought from the Twente store. But in the end, decided, now nah, it's not the right time to get them. It was kind of, kind of blue with a, uh, with a really cool uh, red and white pattern in there. However, if you've seen my top 10 video, you already know that I really, really like this home jersey of theirs from the 22-23 uh, season, namely because this pattern goes back to a very popular pattern from the 70s where they actually reached the UEFA Cup final that I think they lost to Borussia Mönchengladbach. Uh, in the end, very, very Clearly, I think it was nil nil, and then they uh, away from home, and then uh, Gladbach beat them 5 1 in Enschede, if I remember correctly. I should have maybe researched that. Um, we have the Maba logo, which is just, you know, it's a silicon, uh, it's actually a silicon tra 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 transfer. Even the Twente logo is also si silicon, which I think is pretty cool overall. Uh, we have Pure Energy, I guess. Yeah. I think this is how you call it in Dutch. I actually, I don't like that the, sp that the sponsor breaks the nice pattern. I think moving it over would not have hurt this shirt. I actually like it. Uh, pure energy, you have the sun, you have the wind. It's kind of, you know, looks into sustainability a little bit. A uh, little bit uh, <laughs> from uh, taking a page out of the Hummel book, the Othin. This city tag here says official pro apparel. And most importantly, we have the classic Maba pattern that we saw in all these Barca shirts from the 80s, which I find is really, really cool that they continue with that. It is also blank on the back. 
same sponsor there and there's of course the horse which of course will make my girls really really happy as far as i know i think i i didn't know about the sizing but i had an inkling that this might actually go a little run a little bit tight so i think i got here now this is actually an xl so let's see how this will work out for me okay so here it is the first Mabel shirt and i can tell you it actually fits true to size maybe even slightly looser fit which is something that I really, really, really like. But I have to say, I, I actually really enjoy this jersey as well. It gives a slightly a different feel to like a red jer jersey. I think it's always nice to have kind of a side uh, band going, breaks up the jersey and doesn't make it as boring as you would like. Now, uh, Meba have had a f uh, picked up a few mostly smaller teams, so I'm very happy. To see them back, however, uh, I think Twente is easily the biggest team and with Twente enjoying quite a successful season, uh, gives them more exposure and here's to hoping that they will pick up Barcelona again. I want to see Barcelona back in Maber shirts. I'm tired of Nike messing up a classic Barca kit, to be honest. So yeah, another one for the Eredivisie collection. I, it was a goal of mine this year to add a few Eredivisie teams and I'm more than pleased to pick up this beautiful Twente jersey. Now, gotta look into a few more Dutch teams. Any case, please let, let me know what you think about this jersey. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel to see more. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so they get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.